Hey guys, welcome to the lake, welcome to the park. Today we're going to be talking about the MFJ 2822 trailer hitch mount. So you put this in your trailer hitch and you can mount a very common standard size of whip antenna. Now I've been experimenting with this whip antenna as you know and I've gotten great results. So what this is, is you put this in your trailer hitch and you screw whatever antenna you want in here, the super antenna, you could put your uh, chameleon or whatever. But the reason I got this, and it's very important for me to, to tell you why I got this, is because it's not for mobile operations. I'm not doing mobile. I'm still doing portable right now. But I wanted a way to rapidly deploy my antenna when I'm, when I'm out like this, when I'm car camping, when I'm when I'm when we're on vacation, I go to see the in-laws for Thanksgiving and I want to get away and I want to go to a park and just operate, right? But I'm not talking about mobile operations where you operate while you're driving. I'm not interested in that. The, the whole point of this and the reason I got this is because it's, it's very fast and easy to deploy and I knew it would be. I haven't even used it yet. This is the first time I'm using it. But I can go out and not have to worry about this very long antenna falling over. If you've seen my last two videos, this thing is, it catches a lot of wind. So I'm not gonna be operating this while I'm driving. That's not the point of this. This is the point is to go to a park just like this, go camping, put this in here, put the antenna in, not have to worry about finding a tree or a mount or anything. It's just very fast. That's why I got this. Now let's play with it and see what kind of, we're gonna go back to 20 meters again because I, I'm still playing around with these radios I got and I'm a little concerned about this car and the effect it will have on the antenna. Also, if this is, if this door, this door has to be closed for it to go up, that's gonna be a problem, right? I can't forget about it and open the door, but let's get this installed and see how it works and what does it do. But again, the reason I got this is because it's very stable. I don't have to worry about it falling over or anything. It's very fast. So I'm thinking of like parks on the air, you know, I could just drive to a park put my antenna in, throw the radials down, and I don't want to operate mobile. I still want to be outside, because you, know you, you know guys, I love the outdoors, but that's the whole point of this. So let's give it a test. Okay, so first time doing this. Actually, I don't need to put the pin in and everything, but I'm gonna do it anyway, just for demonstration purposes. All right, so the door can't close. I'm gonna make sure and bring everything out that I need before. So you've got your, your coax connection here. You can put your radials on here and grounding it. Now I know there's, there's a, a lot of important information about grounding an antenna to your car, but we're not talking about that right now. We're just doing outdoor portable ops and I'm gonna use these radials for my grounding. So let's go ahead and screw in our coax right here in the bottom. This is the first time I'm using this. Brand new cable too. I'm using RG8X coax. Now we'll put this in here. Now this thing, I heard about this when I bought it. It has a lot of play in it, but I'm not gonna worry about that too much. Okay, and as I mentioned, this is a very stable base. I don't have to worry about it falling over. I don't care how bad the wind gets. We're gonna be stable here. I'm going to unwrap my radials. I'm gonna spread it out in a star, a star pattern as best I can, given that the car is actually in the way. I don't know how that's gonna work. So unfortunately, I didn't account for the fact that I've got a spade mount type connector here and yet this thing has a thumb screw type. So I'm just gonna mash it in there and hope for the best. Okay, so we're having a little bit of challenges with the wind right now. It's windy enough, I gotta kinda hide otherwise the audio gets bad. Okay, we've got Okay, so we're about to do the SWR. I did something stupid. I backed up thinking about the camera and everything that was in the way. 
and I forgot about the antenna and it was it caught some trees and it was like that gotta be careful man all right I'm hiding behind this van because there's so much wind today it would ruin the noise the uh, audio level so we're using these antenna analyzer uh, the stick which I'm not I'm not doing a review on this right now but we're going to analyze this antenna and unfortunately because of where I had to park I couldn't park out in the open because there's so much wind the antenna is actually up, up touching trees right now so let's just see what we can do and let's see if we can get this in as resonant as possible the biggest mistake I made was as I had that spade connector and it does not like that thumb screw so it keeps falling out so that's cost me a headache already but all right let's see where we are okay so our SWR right now is 2.5 let's see if we can get that any better okay my first experiments with this trailer hitch mount were not successful the best I could get was 2.0 it almost seemed like as I was going up it got lower and lower the SWR got lower and lower it's like but I ran out of sections even with these counterpoises I ran out of sections so I felt like if I had one more section it would have kept, kept going down but this is as good as it gets so my theory is this car is messing a lot with this antenna so luckily I brought another product out that I bought from super antenna there's a couple of these out there but this is the spike the spike mount so I'm gonna take this and mount this out into that field right there and see if I can get it low SWR and then kind of prove that it was the the car that's messing up the SWR probably is but that that means you should be able to tune it somehow if you guys got any ideas maybe my radials need to be a different length I tried I even tried the super antenna radials but I'm here on the road and I don't want to put the radials across that road so I've had a lot of challenges today and so far it's not been successful so the super antenna I paid for all this uh, no one gave me anything for free spike for the first time ever let's take a look this is the uh, spike mount I'm gonna put this out in the middle of that field and I have a feeling I'm gonna get a low SWR okay guys I'm sorry if the audio is bad but there's a strong wind going this way there's not much I can do about it but let's put this out here in the middle of the field and I think we're gonna get a good SWR this time I'm just gonna drive this in let's get these radials connected Sorry about the wind noise, but you see that 1.04, 1.03, you see that? It works really well. All right, I thought I would just take a little walk. For some reason, there's not nearly as much wind here as where I was over there. I should have just come out here. So I was going to say that I'm not disappointed with the mount. I just wish I had had a spade connector on there because I was trying to mash it down and every time I pull out the radial, it would pop off. It was really frustrating. And so that spike mount, I was shocked at how fast it worked. So I was over here in the woods at first and I had the antenna up and it was actually touching the trees and I thought maybe that was messing it up. So I moved over to a clear area and I still couldn't get an SWR that was better than 2.0. A little frustrating. I figured that the van was a problem. The van. The van being there all the metal but i thought i could adjust my way out of it i thought maybe if i adjusted this or that i could get a low swr but i couldn't two was the best i could get and so i brought that ground spike mount i'm glad i brought it because it just it worked just like that immediately i had a low swr and i had a 1.17 then i walked over to the camera by the time i walked there it was a 1.06 so that kind of made up for everything else so that tells me that the van really messed with the SWR that all that metal there maybe it needs to be grounded better I need better radials I don't know maybe I need to mess with some coils perhaps I could adjust the coils better 
but as it is right now, I'm really impressed with that ground mount. Um, I was hoping to have just a fast and easy way to mount an antenna in the back of the van, but it's gonna take some more work. Very frustrated, almost ruined the whole video, <laughs> so mad. But then, then the ground mount worked just great. Right here would be a great place for a ground mount, as a matter of fact. Maybe I'll bring it out here. Anyway, guys and girls, get outside, do some ham radio experiments. It's gonna be getting too cold before too long. I'm glad that we moved to Oklahoma City area because today, it's Halloween by the way, October 31st, and it's almost 65, 67, 68 degrees. Very happy about that. So I can get out here and make more videos and make more messes with my, with my wires.